With just under a week to go before I begin my Appalachian Trail thru-hike attempt on March 4th, I wanted to post a couple videos on some of the research I've done over the years. I've read probably about 50 books on the trail and uh, watched over 1,500 hours of trail thru-hiker videos on YouTube. So I wanted to kind of assemble those and, and get my top picks, the ones that I enjoyed the most and that helped me the most, and give you a little top 10 list uh, of my favorites. And this is the first one. This is my top 10 favorite books, and uh, I'll get right into it. In the number 10 spot uh, is David Miller, AWOL on the Appalachian Trail. As many of you know, David Miller publishes the AT Guide, which is uh, essentially the thru-hiker Bible. You, everybody has it, everybody uses it, but before he did that, he did a thru-hike of his own, and this was one of the results. Uh, he wrote this wonderful book of his, the account of his thru-hike. In the number nine spot is Lost on the Appalachian Trail by Kyle Roerig. This is, was just published, I think, within the last six months. Um, and it's unique because he did the trail with his dog, Katana, which uh, allowed for a lot of interesting adventures. Kyle's a great writer, and I, I recommend this book highly. Uh, the next one is Gary Sizer's Where's the Next Shelter? This, this one also was published in the last, uh, the last year. And um, Gary got a little notoriety after his through hike because he published it, uh, put on the internet a before and after shot of his weight loss uh, and body transformation from the trail. And uh, since then, he's written this really wonderful novel, uh, not novel, it's a, a piece of nonfiction about his through hike um, and of the relationships he formed along the way. It's really a lot of fun. In the number seven, seven spot was a New York Times bestseller, Grandma Gatewood's Walk. Grandma Gatewood is probably one of the best known figures of the trail. Um, she hiked it in the 50s um, and I think into the 60s when she was herself in her 60s and 70s. Um, what's great about this book is not only do you get an in, uh, a biography of a very interesting woman, but you really get a sense of what the trail was like in those early days. Um, and uh, so I highly recommend this book. Uh, the number six spot goes to Becoming a Dissa by Jennifer Farr Davis. Jennifer, as many of you know, held the uh, supported thru-hiker record of the Appalachian Trail for a number of years and was just, uh, which was just given over to uh, Scott Jurek, who, who beat her by, I think, just a few hours this past year. Um, this is her first account before she started breaking records of her first thru-hike, and it's, it's really a lot of, a really delight. In the number five spot is Appalachian Trials by Zach Davis, which is a psychological uh, guide to the trail. Um, this is interesting. Nothing really like it was out there before Zach published this, and it really goes into the preparation and the, um, the, the mental part of the trail, both before, after, and during, how, how to... Uh, he gives you a lot of tools on how to deal with it. And uh, I think it's an invaluable resource for any thru-hiker. And the number four spot is Through, an Appalachian tra Trail love story. And this is the only novel on the, on the list. Um, I don't tend to gravitate toward fiction uh, on, on the trail, but uh, this one I picked up accidentally and really enjoyed it. It follows uh, a group of people who met in the early, t early weeks of the trail and went the whole way together, and a lot of great adventures and fun along the way. And the number three spot is A Woman's Journey by Cindy Ross. This Cindy did her, her thru-hike in the 70s, and you really sense that era in this, in this book. It's almost poetic in her prose. She, um, it's basically every page is a little anecdote, a little, a little information nugget, so to speak, on the trail uh, that's coupled with, a, with an illustration, and it makes for a really quick and interesting um, read. It's almost poetic. Uh, the number two spot is A Walk in the Woods, Bill Bryson. Most people have read this. I think this is how most people know the trail. It's still the funniest of all the books on the Appalachian Trail that I've read at least, and uh, he gives a lot of great history too. So Bill Bryson's Walk in the Woods is a must. The number one is uh, a book that I don't think a lot of people know about, and I'm happy to share it with you all. Um, if you haven't heard of it, it's David Brill's As Far As the Eye Can See. And David hiked the trail, I think it was in 1979. And just like Cindy, you get a real sense of what the trail was like in the 70s. And he does it a little differently than others. He he does it in sections uh, or subject matters. So, for instance, he'll talk about the animals on the trail and then tell some anecdotes around there. So it doesn't, it's not kind of a start-to-finish uh, uh, account. Uh, but the, the real 
the real beauty in this book is first his his prose his, his writing is amazing and secondly um the relationships he builds he he ends up hiking with three other men um most of the trail with these guys and the bond they build is, is tremendous and this is the fourth edition I think it was in the third edition, he added the section at the end when they through hiked uh, 20 years later. The same guys went and did, not a through hike, they did maybe 100 miles in Maine uh, at the end uh, when they were much older. And it was really just beautiful to see the relationship still there and that bond that, uh, that was built 20 years earlier. So this one is a, a, a must read. It's not digitized yet, so you're going to have to read the hard copy if you're a digital reader, but it's well worth, well worth getting. So here it is, my top 10 list. This is the list. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you have anything that, uh, as I said before, if you have any that you want to add to this, please put them in the comments. And um, I'm going to start my trail. If, you, if you're interested in following me, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.